So, Shalom Rastafari, Essenes, welcome friends. Now, Essene, seers, magis, magicians, welcome. <laughs> so, let's go through this again because of the total, the quintessential imperative nature of this matter of jaw guide, of course, and make wisdom be your guide. So what do we do now? At this very moment, we have to stop and we have to check what our actual position is at this very moment in the cycles of life. Where are we in the cycles of life? What is our position? our actual standpoint within the cycles of life. Now, once we've identified that, we can then um, carry on, kosher I tell, in the right heading that will bring totally superb, very good things in good moderation all the time, right? Perfect divine supplying and providence pouring out, right? You know, listen, actually, let's be realistic for a second. Okay, so you see me right now? You see everything I'm wearing from 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 Ross to toe, right? Everything I have right now. Do you know where that came from? This beautiful blue shirt. My uh, neck scarf, right? keeps the you know keeps things clean right my blazer my khakis everything my food how is this how did i get this <laughs> my help comes from nowhere i lift up my eyes to the hills <laughs> from whence cometh my help my help is from hashem maker of heaven and earth yet the hebrew says me'en yabo ezri out of nowhere comes my help now where is nowhere that's somewhere. What is it? Listen, it's the uh, the land of milk and honey, metaphysically. The realization of universal substance. There is a universal substance that's giving life to and supporting and providing for everything here. You just have to access the right uh, wavelengths of it, the right channels through the right cycles of life, through making the right creative uh, moves and things happen at a certain time when it's suitable. What happens then is you prosper so much that most people, they're baffled when you tell them, <laughs> hey, if I were to go into detail, you might think, hmm, Yet, it's something that could be reported of within the Holy Bible in terms of this divine providence, going on a journey, being provided for by the Creator, you know, having blessings upon blessings. You know, look at this. Seriously. You know, what are we looking at here? This is all provided by Hashem. Hallelujah. Yeah, it, seriously. Everything I have right now, everything I've got, it all came from... Hashem, because think about it. Now, we have to get into this a little clearer, though. If It's obvious that everything comes from God. Yet, what are the details of this? Hold on for just a second. I have to actually eat something here. Give me one second, please. Yes. Hallelujah, y'all. Okay, look, so many thoughts in a man of God's, hopefully, Messiah mind, right? Yet, you know the moment when you realize your life is actually perfect the way it is, even though you think, oh my God, you know, no, listen, it's good. It's really good because you're free. You're living like a boss, you're living like Adam in the Garden of Eden, very good in 21st century? What? How does that work? Yeah, welcome to our YouTube channel, 
he's seen good news of peace. And if this goes on Instagram, at he's seen gospel of peace, join us and come get live, live, real high with us. Because you see, we're living it up. Yeah, I'm living it up, 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 up. <laughs> Hallelujah, for real. You know, if I were to go into detail, and one of these days, maybe, God willing, we're going to have... A... Sure, of course. Right. It's like, they always used to say, oh, you talk a lot. Yeah, that's right. Hallelujah. And, you know, Nagila, hallelujah, when this mahu, hallelujah, again, another rotation, we're happy. You know, they used to tell me that I talk a lot. Okay, well, thank God Almighty, because... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay. We got to stay on point. Because I know some of you watching this may be thinking, see, I try to stay on point and then set a title on the video so that, you know, you sort of know approximately what information you're going to be getting. Yet, you know what the great thing is? The divine element of all elements of surprise. In other words, you know, when you discover something new, that's good. It comes from the Creator, blessed be He. Now, another thing, just for a second here, we're gonna we're gonna continue this here, God willing. And remember, I s talked about this thing of God will provide, right? Jehovah Jireh. Well, how does that really work? We're gonna get into the details of how that really works. Because what me sitting here creating the image of God and after His own likeness, right? I and my Father are one. Amen. Saying God, you hear the word go out is going to provide? Well, where is he? Is he up there? No. He's within us. <clears throat> We're going to get into that in a second. Okay? That's good. God willing. I'm just I'm just having some grub. Some <laughs> some clean grub because I'm hungry as a lion of Judah. So, okay, listen. I also I salute those of y'all that have subscribed. Now you have to know, hey Really, honestly, does anybody actually watch my videos? And if you do, please feel free to, 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 to like, uh, you know, comment. Keep it clean. Be honest, please. Be honest. It's okay. <laughs> the truth is an offense, not a sin. I'm interested in seeing who actually watches our videos and... You got to know something. Listen, I'm going to make this very clear. This is like a channel, you know, announcement or whatever they call it. Yeah, I'll call it and so be it, right? There we go. Self-empowerment, right? Do for self, divinely, right? Is it what I'm talking to you about on this channel, right? Same thing with my Instagram. This is the real thing, all right? I'm actually not even thinking about <laughs> making money, even though it's it's come to mind, like I've thought, okay, it'd be great if I could make money with YouTube videos because I'm good at that, I guess. Apparently, I used to have another channel where I had some some something like, I think it was over a thousand, maybe. Yet, really, what I'm saying is that what I'm doing here is not so much aimed at the amount of subscribers, the amount of views, or any sort of like a commercial sort of competitive activity. Actually, what, you, what you're seeing and what you're getting on our channel here at He's Seen Good News of Peace and on Instagram at He's uh, Seen Gospel of Peace is you're seeing the real life of someone who's an Essene that's a doer, like a doer of the law, be doers of the law, right? Living in the 21st century, basically like our boss, hopefully, Yeshua the Messiah, and like Adam, very good in the Garden of Eden, now even like the second Adam. And sharing these, these uh, apparently unique and very uh, interesting perspectives. It's almost as if the, the only reason, it's as if, it's as if, it's like, if you were to ask me, why do you actually vlog? Why do you have a YouTube channel, Ross? Ariel Tafari, here. Why do you have a YouTube channel? Why do we even stand here in the woods, you know, vlogging? Well, I could be silent. I could be, oh, speaking of silver, silence is golden. It's because I see things and I know things that are from the Creator. 
and the Creator is within us. And these things are so, they are so freeing and so good, and they're so upful, and they're so helpful. And when I analyze them and figure out that, yes, you know, it's almost as if, you know, if you read the Holy Bible, right, you're going to hear things like Jehovah Jireh. So I'm going to give an example of why I actually do what I do. Now, and, and that's, ah, see, now I'm in, the, in, that, in this mode and I, I'm hungry, yet I'm more interested in this right now. Look, um, so typical example, right? In the basic Holy Bible, in the Hebrew or in the English, it's like Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. Okay, now listen, at a certain level or maybe an advanced level of biblical study, Torah study, right? Four years you study. And then the vineyard, you know, after four years starts to bear fruit. So we all know this saying, God will provide. Now, what is this really talking about, though? And if we're creating the image of God and after his own likeness, you know, we're also in the first Torah portion, this uh, strong seven days or what they call the weak fire burn. Be I strong, right? Join us, yeah? Get hazak with us, right? Get strong with us. Uh, we're in the first Torah portion. So why did I mention that just now? Oh, because if we're creating an image of God and after his own likeness, then, you know, ye are gods. We're children of God. So where is God, so to say? I'm using plain English, fire burn God. That's a false god from, from Norway or something, from Norsk. You know, Hashem, Jaja. Even that is, actually, you would have to say Ja and better said Ya. Let's just say Hashem, the name. So Hashem, right? Actually, let's go with Abba. There we go. I and my Abba are one. So we're creating an image of God and after his own likeness. Okay, so now you got a serious thing because you're standing here as a man of God saying that God will provide. Yet if, if I and my Father are one, what is God? Who is he exactly? How does this all work? And why is it important? Because now they have a thing called God realization. This is what was expressed by our boss, Yeshua the Messiah, when he said, I and my Father are one. Amen. Or he said, he that has seen, I have seen the Father. Amen. Or in Genesis, it talks about how we're creating the image of God and after his own likeness. So what is going on here then? So how am I looking at this? It's like God is sitting at the table in the form of a living man of God, reading this holy text, right? You're sitting at the table reading the Holy Bible, yet actually God is within you. So how in the, how in the world and not of it does this work? Okay, what's going on is this. Every single term, right, we got to go to the, go from the physical normal to the metaphysical. So even the word God. So the word God is usually the Hebrew Elohim. So you know, anytime there's a divine name or there's any type of thing in the Holy Bible, like for example, the Lord will see to it or Jehovah Jireh, you got to understand some of the basic, most original and accurate, basically Ethiopian Oriental Orthodox Tewahedo fusion. Uh, teachings in terms of that the original teachings that go with that what is known as the Hebrew or the Judaic, the Jewish, and subsequently also, oh man, this could, ah, this could get really lengthy. Ah, the, the, the anointed, the Messiah-ish, the, 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 what they call Christian uh, let's just say the Rastafari liberty being the, the ultimate, total, plus perfect way. The way from the beginning, you know, from the beginning of time. And that what is Judaism or Christianity. <laughs> huh. It's a cat. I think it's a cat. Uh, all came from this source. Now, so anytime there's a word or a sentence, you know, if you have a favorite verse, then you go and you look that up. And you're going to look that up in the Hebrew. The Greek is, ah, zolala, right? Look up the Greek. Uh, pardon, Hebrew. So then it's going to say something. So it's going to say Jehovah Jireh. So now I'm standing here creating an image of God and after his own likeness saying Jehovah Jireh. So how does that make sense though? Really, let's get real practical here because these are important matters. 
Well, basically, what's going on is, first of all, we are actually... Now, you have to know that when there's a divine name used uh, in the Holy Bible, like God or the Lord, that has a Hebrew equivalent. That's going to be Hashem or the Tetragrammaton, Yahweh. Now, that is actually the first person within the Holy Triunity. You have the Father, Abba, or Elohim. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Pardon, pardon. Yeah. So, in Amharic, it's called Igziabahir, the Eternal Father. That is the Amharic, Ethiopian, Hebraic, you know, Afro-Shemitic, sevenfold refined Amharic language equivalent of, if I'm correct, actually... I, I'm gonna say Yahweh, Baruch Hashem, because that is the Father aspect. So you've got the Father, the Son, and the Holy Breath. They're united, right? That's why we say, I and my Father are one. Okay. So now, we are creating the image of God and after his own likeness. So now, what we actually are is that what is... <sighs> Children of God, B'nai Elohim, yet actually Elohim. Because <laughs> man is a triunity. So now, how does it make sense then for <laughs> man, <laughs> who's created an image of God and after his own likeness, to say, God will provide, like I am right now? The, <laughs> that's really a good question. I'm, a, I'm almost... Um, so what this is, is it's expressing a certain metaphysical working mechanism within us as a human being creating an image of God and after his own likeness in a, in a sense of that actually, oh right, so now if you look up the Hebrew, right, Jehovah, he who be, who he be, Baruch Hashem, Lord have mercy, respect the name, oh boy. Okay, yeah. Uh, and then Jaira, we'll see to it. We'll see to it. The Lord will see to it. So now it's the Father aspect in us that will see to it. Now how does this work? Look, the word Jaira, Ure in Hebrew, you know what that's talking about? It's talking about seeing. It has to do with our ability also to see in our mind's eye to envision a good thing based on divine inspiration and then to have that actually become real and manifest. Okay, so you have this thing called uh, 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 Jehovah Jireh, where <clears throat> huh. basically, it's d see, everything that's described in the Holy Bible that's a physical thing is actually talking about a metaphysical thing and a working mechanism or the way something works within us. Like, for example, you know, the idea of the Tetragrammaton, YHWH, right? What is that? What is that that we say in the Shema Yisrael? You know, Hear, O Israel. Actually, again, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Amen. Baruch Shem Kibod, Mike Tov, Amen, Amen. Blessed is the name of His Gorgeous Kingdom for all eternity. Amen. What is that we're talking about? Our first, the first prime, foremost commandment. What is this talking about? You know, who is Hashem? Who is the four-letter name? The Tetragrammaton, right? What is that? Who is the Lord? What is that? You know, really, what is it? Are we talking about something inside of a physical building 3,000 years ago in the Holy Temple of Jerusalem? Or are we talking about something that has a physical, historical type and a truth to it and a place where this happened? And then a metaphysical, right now, Rema application, something that is, these are operative types, the God of the living, the living power here and now, right now, today, working with different mechanisms, right? So, for example, the Father, Hashem, is the Father aspect. Now, there's a thing that's important, is that we do affirm, here in Israel, Hashem is our God, Hashem our God is one. So God is one. But you have to understand that, see, the Creator, He is one, yet look, look at this, look, look over here, okay? 
See these trees? These trees are different than those trees, and they're both beautiful. They come from the same source. So what we're saying is that when I say uh, the holy triunity, it's talking about how the one God works in this mechanism of creation because there's got to be a way for the eternal creator to create. And what do you think? It's just, what do you think? Like, if, if, if God is one, there's nothing that can negate his unity because there are what are called polytheists, many gods-ish, fire burn them, okay? It's nothing. Jah, he is the God. Jah, he is the God, period. That's what's up. Yet, you got to know the fact, you got to know the fact that the creator himself He's actually in us. So God is totally within us. Because, see, when you, look, when you start to read the Holy Bible, the Holy Torah, and study it, what happens is you figure out that there's a, tons of information being explained here. Uh, okay, give me a sec. Okay, so where was I? Now you got what I was saying, right? So now, okay, so perhaps we should wrap this up for now. And see, I had to reiterate and emphasize the fact that my YouTube channels, what I do when I post, and I actually take the time, like right now, to do this, then to go and upload this, you know, wait for it to upload. Oh, patience. <laughs> is it virtue or something? It's real. It's real. This is real. Okay. Now, the other thing is, in fact, you know what we could... Uh, I don't know if there's a time right now. I think I'm trying to think if it's a time right now. Basically, we got to have a talk show. Now, I know it's possible to have it because if you look at the podcasts on YouTube, you know, the majority of what is so called popular it is like they're looking at the majority of the information on what's called media or social media nowadays. Uh, look, we got to look at the real important matters in eternal life and life, the creator, how to live ah, forever, live up, right? The liberty, this way of life that is the original, most superior, most joyful, perfect, holy, second, and pure, divine, seen way of life, right? This is important. It's as if, look, to put it very simply, it's as if what I'm sharing is the real way to live compared to 99.9%, let's say, except for the called chosen, <laughs> the truly called chosen of faithful Rastafari and, and some others too, because, you know, the nature of natures is within us. It, it's like we're sharing the real way to live. We're talking about the real original way of life here, folks, compared to... The, this majority of illusion, nonsense, it's, it's getting you nowhere. Where are you going, United Nations? Nations, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Into the abyss? No. We, we know where we're going. We know where we're from. Okay. Jaw guide, join us. He's seen way of life. He's seen liberty. He's seen gospel of peace. He's seen good news of peace on YouTube. See, See, why do I do what I do, though? Because it's real. This is real reporting. This is a real thing. Whereas the majority of what you see nowadays, not everything, the majority is totally useless, vain illusions, fire burn. And Babylon go down and rise and shine, Ethiopia, Israel, and friends and newcomers. You're all highly welcome. Remember, Irie.